my name is Greg Johnson. I'm the owner and operator of Bear Mountain Lodge right here in Michigan's wild and scenic Upper Peninsula. As a former geological engineer, I designed and built Bear Mountain Lodge as a Russian boar hunting adventure. You can now hunt real Russian boar right here in North America. Well, we're in Nagani, Michigan here with Raging Russians. This is uh, Dan Kidder, a little bit behind the scenes guy here that you don't uh, often get to see, but he's real instrumental in getting uh, sportsman news to you every month. We drug him out from behind the desk, and uh, this is his first time in two years to get out and shoot something. He's carrying this great big old giant hog leg here. So, good luck, man. I don't have a gun for backup, so let's hope you can get it done. I hope so. Let's see. <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right, man. <laughs> Boys, about yeah, in there. 60 yards in, yeah, I see him under those trees over there. Real black. Go hit this north-south trail and we'll walk around. Try intercept them a little bit, see what we can see in there. Back at it again. Uh, we're uh, we're going to sneak back up where we saw them uh, around by that feeder earlier. See if we can get a shot this time. down. Yeah. That one down there? This one. Oh. This thing right here. Just right in my front sight. Right. I had no clue there was a boar right there. I had no <laughs> clue. I was paying attention to those big boys. That was a good boar. 
That was a great boar, man. When I turned around, that was a... Yeah. <laughs> Got a huge herd of pigs coming down over the hill. Uh, there was probably anywhere from 35 to 50 pigs, all sizes. We had boars, we had sows, we had piglets. Uh, they just came in a train and we were setting up to get a shot at them as they came by. We saw this guy top the ridge and he kind of pulled off to the side and was kind of hanging out and hanging back and I was waiting for him to come crossing in. I never did see him come across the ridge behind us. He kind of tried to come up and flank us. I uh, turned, he looked right at me, saw me. As I cocked the gun, he gave me a broadside shot and took him right in the side there. He went uh, probably 65 yards and fell dead. Uh, it looks like we got him right in the sweet spot. Um, beautiful pig. I mean, they were telling me that this pig could be anywhere 350, 400 pounds. It's got some great cutters on them. Uh, just a beautiful day at Bear Mountain Lodge. Hello, <laughs> my name's Greg Johnson. My friends all call me the Moose Man. Uh, hunting Russian boar, well, that's what I'm most famous for, is building Bear Mountain Lodge and importing Russian boar into the United States of America. Now, you can hunt Russian boar without leaving the good old U.S. of A. And what I mean by a Russian boar, I'm talking a primordial beast, one of those prehistoric pork chops, an ancient animal, massive head, huge cutters, razor-sharp tusk. You can tell the Russian boars because they have a big hump on their back, long, powerful legs, small hindquarters. These Russians, they're built for battle. Why, a hog, he's built for bacon. So if you want to hunt a real beast, come to Bear Mountain and do the deed with a real Russian boar. All right, when hunting Russian boar here at Bear Mountain, shot placement is very important. What we have here, we got a life-size uh, mount of a Russian boar. Uh, this is a herd boar. And with these herd boars, they have very thick cartilage-like substance that we call the grizzle plate. This protects their vitals, and it runs from the front of their shoulder all the way back to the back ribs. What I usually recommend is if you have a caliber in that 30-06 and up, keep it right behind the shoulder, about a third to halfway up. This is right where the heart sits, and the lungs are running right close behind it. Back in here is the liver, and uh, you get a boar in the liver, he's going to go a long ways. Not like a deer, he goes, he'll go for two, three hours. Um, if you want to take a shoulder shot, I don't recommend shooting him in the shoulder with anything under a 375 H and H. Um, that shot will put him down, but uh, again, I stress uh, only large calibers. Diving into the swamp and check bedding areas and and you know uh, kick them up. They're probably snoozing right now, so okay. we're gonna go check some bedding areas. You can shoot either and both of them are really nice trophies. You got a shot, go ahead. Number one, when it comes out. Nice shot. Very nice shot. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was a high shoulder shot. That puts him right down every time. What do you think of that? Oh my god. I'm shaking. About 200, 225 pounds. Real nice, solid pig. He's got his last, kicking his uh, last few breaths out of him. All right. Nice shot. That was a high Good shoulder shot. shot. That puts him down. All right. 
That 57 grain bullet is a little bit light for these pigs usually, but that just that just electrified them. Yeah, a pretty close range there. Yeah. 25 yards. About 25 yards, yeah. <laughs> maybe that. maybe not even, huh? Nice shot. You said it was 50 yards or under. I was starting to smell a little bit. Yeah, you know, it's easy. Yeah, thick cedar swamps, you know, they uh they make it uh make it real hard to get long shots in here. Most most are, you know, 20 and under in, in this thick stuff. Getting stalked. <laughs> yeah, we were well, kind of getting done hunted done as we were doing some hunting, right so. It was just a perfect hunt. Getting to see him right on, early on. Um, having that one stalk us it was, it was an adrenaline rush, <laughs> big time. I was shaking when I shot this one because he was still, still behind us. Um, had a good free and clear shot. He was moving through the trees and came out in the clearing. And dropped him. Well, we're here at Bear Mountain Lodge here in Nagani, Michigan. I'm here with Katie Lang here, the Katie Lang. <laughs> she actually won this as a writer's contest submitted onto our, to put, run in our publication. And we're out here on the very first morning. Got kind of a late start, got in late yesterday. Running around here, these boars are in the breeding season right now. We had one stalking us. He didn't want to let us get by. We're here, we're, we're hunting a herd boar, we're hunting a trophy boar, which a little bit smaller, but it's still a 220, 230 pound pig. Just a great pig. That one didn't want to let us get by, so apparently there's a female around here that's in heat, and uh, we kind of had to skirt him. He didn't want us in his territory. He made a great shot on this thing. Went right down, and uh, shoot, it's not even noon. We're, uh, we got one tag down and a couple more tags to fill, so it's gonna be a great hunt. It's already started out fantastic. Stick around, you're gonna enjoy it. Oh, wow, well, how far away was he? 25, 26 yards. Well, up close, good. Good for you. Like we said, the half of it's the gun. The, uh, the, the important half is the beast layer. Oh, all hail the beast layer. <laughs> In the summertime is what we call our jungle hunts. Our jungle hunts consist of just solid green. You can't see any farther than about 10 feet in front of you. You get up close and personal with these boars. Um, it's a lot of fun. Big cutters clapping at you. They get real intimidated, but uh, we still go in there. And then after the summer, we go into our fall when all the leaves start to change. Uh, Michigan is well known for their beautiful colors and these boars are starting to get their nice coats right in the fall, starting to build up for the heavy winter for our Siberian snow hunts. Uh, Nagani, Michigan. I'm here with Mike McCurney. He's one of our uh, riding contest winners. Congratulations, Mike. I appreciate the input. Uh, great story. Good to see you killed a lion in, uh, in Arizona without dogs. And uh, you know, it was a fantastic story. Great submission. You know, we, uh, we do a couple of riding contests annually. And Mike went in this one, the, the hunt giveaway here is with Bear Mountain, Raging Russian. We're here to hunt big raging boars. We just had a, a gentleman here that hunted earlier. They shot one boar at five feet, right in their face, up close and personal. So we've got Big Joe, his son, here, and uh, he's going to go out and help save the world out here. So let's go, uh, let's go follow along into the into the Raging Russian's den, see if we can kill a big boar there. Ready. Good luck. Shoot straight. He's shooting a muzzle loader, so we only got one shot. What's <laughs> up? Sweet. Muzzle loader, 150 grains of powder, and a 250 grain bullet. Uh, Thompson Center shockwave. <laughs> this hunt is designed for you. You decide how you want to hunt. You decide how you want to set the pace. Uh, the accommodations here at Bear Mountain um, are probably some of the best uh, that I have ever worked in. Um, and I, I've been to quite a few different hunts and um, you know, we got a 4,500 square foot lodge. There's four bedrooms, uh, a master um, executive dining table um, with leather chairs to sit around. Um, you know, on a typical hunt, hunting day, you get up about eight o'clock in the morning. If you want to sleep in a little bit, that's no problem. Um, you know, we cater to you. Um, we'll have breakfast, we'll gear up, we'll head out there and we'll hunt uh, until, uh, until it's time to go in for lunch, which is typically around 12, 1 o'clock. Come in, uh, put our feet up, maybe come up with a couple other strategies uh, to get your boar. Um, head back out for afternoon and evening hunt and then come in for a nice relaxing dinner. 
Um, during this time, you're more than welcome to have cocktails. Uh, the guides might even have one with you. But uh, this is uh, definitely, uh, you know, I don't want to say a, a stress-free hunt because uh, it's still hunting. Um, there's, uh, these are wild animals, um, but uh, this hunt is designed uh, for your pleasure. What do you think of this stuff, Joe? Pretty cool. You, you been hunting before? Yeah. Yeah? What have you hunted? Abilene. You kill one? Yeah. When? I don't know, like 2008. 2008, last year, huh? Yeah. Fantastic. Well, these are just a little bit bigger, so yeah. a little more exciting. Yeah. All right, buddy. Let's go get them. That was a big herdivore. Did you see him? Yeah. He had quite a bit of teeth sticking out the side. Yeah, the first one was a, was a, was a Yeah, yeah, he was. was. Something pretty exciting. We'll take a, take a swing up into the hardwoods and check out what kind of boars we got going on up there. And I'll go up and up towards the bone yard and see what we have bedded down up here. Here comes some boars moving. I see some boars moving down the side of the road. Okay, let's get up. Let's get up this road a little bit further. I've been out in the hunting grounds about an hour and a half, two hours right now. We've probably seen 60, 70 pigs, a lot of big herd boars here. I mean, the rut is kicked on. This warm weather's came in. It's beautiful. It's probably 40 degrees today. And, uh, man, they're chasing sows around here. We're seeing them. They're pretty dominant. They're protecting their territory. So it's been exciting this afternoon. But uh, I think Mike hasn't pulled the trigger yet. We still got a few hours of daylight to be out here, and we've still got a few days. So stick around. We're going to get a good one. Coming down the road here, we've been hunting most of the afternoon, and uh, saw these pigs coming down the ridge here. We stopped and uh, decided, hey, let's go ahead and shoot him. Had to make a quick call. Mike made a pretty good shot on him. We think maybe it's a little bit back, so we're going to go back up the lodge, hang out a little bit, watch the footage on tape on uh, on the big TV, and uh, come back and recover. And then just no need to push one of these boars. They're real strong animals, and uh, you know this is jungle down here. We just don't need to push him that far. So. Let's go back up to the lodge right now, relax a little bit, get a cup of coffee, come back out in about an hour, go recover Mike's pig. Well, we give that pig about 45 minutes, really, actually it's close to an hour, so we're gonna go out now, we'll give him enough time to sit down and die, and uh, hopefully it'll be a nice easy recovery. But, uh, these guys are pretty dangerous, you gotta watch and make sure nobody gets hurt. First sign of the Which one? 
do is just work and I'll go down here and just kind of watch in there. See if, you know, sometimes if you're moving through there, we see animals kick up before you do. So we'll be uh, on the alert and that way we're out of your way. Yeah, we'll, um, we'll make sure. Uh, but just definitely take your time, you go drill. slow. Um, always keep your eyes up, you know, let Kenny do the track in there. Josh is going to circle back there. around. Back around. Yeah. 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 There's a pig laying right there. All right, there's a big, huge spot of blood right up. Looks must have been where his nose is. Okay, there. okay, that's it. I saw his ear flicker twice. He's still alive. I think we should circle back to right up there so we have a clear shot. Lights down soon. <laughs> nice little adrenaline rush there, huh? Feel some spots, huh? Picked up his bow. Uh, 100 yards or so. 150 yards at the way there. We took a shot at about. 45 or 50 yards. We weren't sure where we hit him, so we decided not to push him. We went ahead and trailed him and through this forest here and found him out of his depth all bedded. And uh, took another shot. Yeah, not much blood for the blood trail, but yeah, we definitely uh, let it right to him, you know? So, you know, they, they That'd have been a tough way. blood trail to follow in no snow. Yeah, it would have been a very yeah. tough blood trail to follow in no snow. I mean, look at him, he's still just, still got that adrenaline surge going. Um, I wrote an article about uh, mountain lion kill I was able to make a couple years ago uh, for a contest at Sportsman's News Warehouse. I didn't think I was going to win anything because I generally don't win anything. And uh, about four or five months had come, gone by and uh, Mike Deming sent me an email, said that I had uh, won a hunt over here at Bear Mountain Lodge for Russian boar, and I contacted him immediately and told him I'd be coming up here. So, Sweet. we came out today with the guide Kenny from Bear Mountain Lodge. Made a big loop here, did a pretty good walk. Saw a lot of, lot of, lot of boars, nothing we wanted to shoot. Came up on this guy here, about 45, 50 yards. Uh, took a shot, we weren't real comfortable with the shot. Uh, we went ahead and let him bed. Tracked him in here about 100 yards and found him underneath this deadfall over here to my right. And we're able to get another uh, shot to finish him and, and harvest him. It's a great animal. Really, really had a good time. I want to thank Bear Mountain Lodge and uh, Mike Dimming and, and Dan from Sportsman's News for bringing me up here. And uh, just, an, just an awesome time and a, and a great animal.